Good Monday morning. The time is 617 and all eyes are on the tropics. Of course, what's going on essentially is we had tropical storm Amanda in the Pacific that made landfall in Central America over the weekend and the remnants are just sitting over the Yucatan Peninsula right now. Very rough terrain to where a tropical system cannot survive in Central America. Now with the remnants, if it does move into the southwestern Gulf of Mexico or the Bay of Campeche, over the next few days, then it will have the potential to become either a tropical depression, perhaps a tropical storm in the coming days. The National Hurricane Center giving it a high chance for formation through the next five days. But keep in mind, a lot can change over the next few days. So you do want to check back in with us over the coming days as we get to have a better understanding on what's going on, what is set to happen, or anything of that nature. And you'll likely see several models guidance um, runs out on social media, some of which show anywhere from potentially a very weak system moving to the northern Gulf Coast or even something stronger. So I want you to take every model run that you potentially see or any that even I show uh, with a grain of salt because a lot can change and these models are going to bounce back and forth in the coming days. But just to kind of show you the latest model guidance just to show the potential that's there. The European model uh, brings a system closer to the Texas coast sometime on Tuesday. Whereas the latest run of the GFS model sometime on Monday, maybe Monday night and into Tuesday, potentially is a strong tropical storm or even a weak tropical storm closer to the uh, Louisiana, Texas coast. Again, keep in mind any state along the Gulf Coast will have to watch this very carefully in the coming days. We still don't know where it could end up, what's going to happen or anything because it is still six to eight days out. So again, all Gulf states need to monitor this in the coming days. Still way too early to determine, but all in all, wherever it does end up, it's going to bring very heavy rain. The latest from the Weather Prediction Center shows any anywhere between five and seven inches of rain, perhaps uh, for the northern Gulf Coast in the coming days. So Again, something we're going to monitor and be able to uh, give you more details on in the coming days. We'll know more once it gets into the Gulf uh, in the coming days again. So it's beautiful this morning, very quiet, 69 degrees. We have 60s, 70s, but today we're warming up into the lower 90s and rain chances 10% or less. In the coming days, however, rain chances will begin to increase. You can just see some passing clouds this morning. Rain chances ramp up, especially Tuesday and into Wednesday. And again, all dependent on what happens with that potential system is what our rain chances are going to be like in the coming days. But just plan on some wet weather at times. Very summer like pattern in the coming days around uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We'll see showers scattered to possibly numerous showers and thunderstorms, mainly during the afternoon, evening. And again, we'll be watching the tropics in the coming days as well. Let's get a check on 